Hey guys, Sabrina here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to animate a still picture for your Steam profile. So some examples of this are on screen right now. It's a really cool technique, so if you want to learn how to do this, stick around for this video. So the first thing I want to do for this video is promote my Twitter. At a thousand followers, I am going to be doing a giveaway. It'll probably be around a 15 to 20 USD giveaway. So the link to that is in the description below. So follow me and there will be a giveaway once we hit a thousand followers. So let's get into the tutorial. So as always, we're going to go to steam.design first. Link to that is down in the description below. Such a handy site for this community. This community would be nothing without it. So if you like their services and want to contribute to them, just go to their Patreon here. They don't have many people supporting them right now and they're trying to stay afloat as best they can. So if you haven't used this website before, the first thing you're going to want to do is sign in in the top right hand corner. I've already done that, and so if I click this arrow, it'll show all my backgrounds. So I've just selected this one here, and I use this background for all my tutorials because it's just so nice looking and contrasts really well with some white. So once we've chosen our background, we're going to want to choose whether we want to go with a square artwork showcase or a long artwork showcase. So if you click this toggle up here, it will toggle between the two. I want a long showcase for this, so I'm going to to press download zip. Once the zip is downloaded, we are going to want to drag artwork middle into a random folder. And so I've selected my desktop for that. So I've just dragged it from the zip file into my regular explorer. Once we've done that, we want to drag artwork middle into the projects panel of our After Effects. And then once you've done that, drag the artwork middle down to this little button here and it will make a composition using the dimensions of your artwork background. So if we click here where it says 100% or whatever the percentage it says for you, just click fit. And then it will show the whole artwork thing there. So now that we've got our background, we want to find the character we want to use. Some people use lots of custom characters or they use characters from their favorite video games and I'm no different. I'm going to use the character from my favorite video game, Garfield Cart. So this is Garfield. He is a sexy motherfucker. So let's get right into it. When you're looking for a character to animate, you want to look for a character which has limbs that are spread far apart from the body. So I've chosen this picture of Garfield for mine, but if you're picking another picture that doesn't have a transparent background like this one, I'm going to show you how to cut out the character from the background. So we've got this picture of Garfield which has a white background, so it'll be quite easy to cut him out from the back. So I'm going to just drag that into my Photoshop. And once it's in my Photoshop, I'm going to press Ctrl-0 to zoom him up to full size. And now I'm going to right click on my layer here and duplicate it. And then delete the one behind it. So now I've just got this layer of Garfield. Now I'm going to use the magic wand tool which is good for removing white or solid color backgrounds. And I'm just going to press the background here and then hold shift and click the inside of his legs and anywhere else that is white that you'll be able to see. And then I'm just going to press delete. And you see now we've got the checkerboard pattern like before, but I don't want Garfield's feet here to be black like his shadow. So if you've got a more complex background and need to cut it out, I recommend using the pen tool or the polygonal lasso tool. So we're just going to zoom in using control plus, hold space to drag to where you want. And then I'm just going to use the polygonal lasso tool and just click along where you want it to be. So I want to cut it off there. So then I'm going to loop it back and then connect it or press enter and then press delete and you see it'll cut it out and I don't want the same thing under here all right now you see that we've cut out Garfield so what you want to do from there is just go to file save as and then save as PNG and then just save it wherever you like but I don't need to do that because I'm just using this photo so I'm going to right click and save image as and we'll just save it then we are going to drag it into our After Effects comp and then drag it down to the timeline. So now you see we have Garfield here. He's looking pretty sexy right now, but I'm wanting him to be a bit smaller. So I'm just going to hold this edge, hold shift and then drag it inwards and it'll shrink down Garfield. Now I'm just going to align his feet down here. So that looks about right. And then we're going to start animating him. So I'm going to zoom in using the scroll wheel and then spacebar again to scroll down further. And then I'm going to go up here and press this puppet pin tool. 
So this is what everybody uses to animate their characters mostly. It's pretty simple and it can be done with static characters, which is really nice. So, say if you want to animate this arm here to go up and down, we are going to click some pivot points we want. So I want it to pivot from the base of the arm and I want the tip of it to be here. And then I'm just going to secure it down with some more pins here. Just spread some pins and pin Garfield all around apart from where you want to animate. Once we're happy with all of our pins, we're going to click on our Garfield layer or whatever your character is and press U and it'll bring up all these pins. We are then going to click the pin that we want and then scroll down till you find that. So mine's pin two. So we've got the stationary position here and you can see that there's the keyframe already there from placing the pin. So I'm going to move along in the timeline. And so I think I want to take a second for Garfield's hand to raise. So now I'm going to drag this up here and then another second later, drag it back down. If you want to be exactly precise, you can just copy the first keyframe using control C and then select where you want to paste it and then make sure you selected it and then press control V. So you can see if we play it through now, it's animating Garfield's hand back and forth. But you can see when Garfield's hand fully raises, it's sort of just a bit too harsh with animating back. So I'm just going to select it and then press F9. This eases it. So it slows down towards the end and then goes right back. So it looks like he's just waving. You can do this technique for other limbs as well. So I might animate Garfield's tail. So I'm going to put another pin on the end of Garfield's tail and we've got it locked off with some other pins here. And so I'm going to select that pin, scroll through here until we find it. So that's pin 21, I believe. So now I'm just going to go a second in, drag the tail where I want, and then copy the first keyframe again, go to two seconds, and then paste it, and then press F9 on the middle keyframe, and it'll ease it in again. So that looks pretty good in my opinion. So to save this, we are going to zoom out and just make sure that it's everything we want. So that looks pretty cool. Garfield's looking pretty sexy. And then we are going to drag in these side bits to the last keyframe. And now you see he'll just loop back and forth. It looks really, really nice. So I'm going to hit Control M and then I'm going to select the output module and change it to PNG sequence and then change my output to where I want. So I'm going to say Garfield cut and then save it wherever you want and then click the render button all right now this animation is rendered we're going to hop into photoshop so we're going to go to file open and then navigate to where we save mine so i saved mine in nathan artwork after effects client work and i saved it as garfield cut i'm going to select the first frame of that animation and then click image sequence press open and then we're going to have to check the frame rate so if i go back to my after effects in the project panel you can see the frame rate here which is 60. so i'm going to go back to my photoshop and then click the 60 or i can just enter a custom frame rate there press ok and then go to window and then open up your timeline we are then going to play this through and make sure it's everything we want so garfield is looking hot as fuck right now so i'm going to export this Press file, go to export, and then go to save for web legacy, or you can use alt shift control S. So now you see we've got Garfield looking all suave, looking all great. So we're going to go to the top here and make sure it's set to GIF. Make sure the colors are set to 256 and then change the animation looping options to forever and make sure that this number down here is below eight megabytes, else it will not upload to Steam. Press save and then save it as whatever you want. So I'm gonna name mine garfield.gif and then press save. We are then going to go to the link in the description below and go to the upload page. So the link to the upload page is in the description below. So just click on that and it'll bring you to this. Once we're here, we want to name our artwork. So I'm gonna name mine Garfield Cart Baby and then choose the file we want. So I'm going to navigate to where I saved mine. So artwork, after effects, client work, then garfield.gif. Press open and we can see he's animating there all sexily. And then we're going to add a description. 
we're going to certify that we created this artwork. But first, if you're using a long artwork showcase instead of the square one, you're going to have to press F12 to open up the console. From here, go to the console here, click on that, and then paste the following code that is in the description, and then press enter. You'll get a feedback of one, and then it should have worked. So you wanna do this after you've done all this, and then just press save and continue. It'll take a while to upload depending on your internet speed, but you can see the progress in the bottom left here if you're hovering over your artwork. Once it's uploaded, we're then going to go to our profile, go to edit profile. Then we are going to make sure we have the background applied. Then we are going to go to our artwork showcase. You can select your artwork showcase here. And then we're going to click on the middle image. We are then going to click on the most recent image here. It might just appear as a line if you uploaded a long one. If you uploaded it as a square, it will just look like this. So we're going to click on the most recent one. And then we're going to scroll down and click save. Return to my profile. And then you see we have Garfield. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please support the channel by leaving a like and subscribing. It means the world to me. I hope to see you guys using this technique on your own profiles. If you use this, please link your profile in the description below. Also check out my Twitter. Let's get it to a thousand followers so I can drop a giveaway for you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. What the